In this video, let us do a question based on properties of parallel lines, specifically on consecutive interior pairs and alternate angles. In the figure given below, lines PQ parallel RS find the measure of angle MYR. So, in this question, we have lines PQ and RS are parallel. Measure of angle MXQ is given as 145 degrees. Angle XMY is given as a right angle. And we have to find the measure of angle MYR. Here in this problem, MX cuts PQ only and MY cuts RS only. Unless we have a transversal, that means a line cutting two parallel lines, we cannot apply properties of angles in a pair of parallel lines. The approach for solving this question should be, we should convert this problem into a problem of pair of parallel lines and a transversal. Let's now discuss the approach for solving this question. We can have two approaches for solving this question. This is approach 1 and this is approach 2. We can see here that we have extended YM to point A and extended XM to point B to convert these into transversals. After construction, the required angle, that means this angle, is equal to angle PAM that means this angle as we can see that these are alternate angles. And we can find the measure of angle PAM by applying the angle sum property of triangle AMX. We can find angle PXM making use of linear pairs. 180 degrees minus 145 degrees will be the measure of this angle. And similarly, we can find this angle which is angle AMX once again making use of linear pairs 180 degrees minus 90 degrees will be the measure of this angle because this angle is given to be 90 degrees in the question. Once we know this angle and this angle very easily we can find this angle by angle sum property of triangle. And we have already said that this angle here is equal to our required angle which is angle MYR because these are alternate angles. So making use of approach 1, we can find the required angle. Let's see the second approach. In second approach, we are constructing a parallel line through point MC. Here, PQ is parallel to MC and XM is the transversal. That means this angle and this part angle here are co-interior angles. Their sum should be 180 degrees. So if we subtract 145 degrees from 180 degrees, we can find the measure of this angle. And this complete angle is 90 degrees. So from 90 degrees, if we subtract the measure of this angle shown in brown here, we will get the measure of this angle. And this angle, that means angle CMY, and this angle here, which is the required angle, angle MYR, are alternate angles. So if we know the measure of this angle, measure of our required angle will be equal to the measure of this angle. Making use of approach 2, let's solve the question. So angle MXQ plus angle XMC is equal to 180 degrees as co-interior angles are supplementary. This implies angle XMC is equal to 180 degrees minus angle MXQ. So this implies angle XMC is equal to 180 degrees minus angle MXQ we know is 145 degrees. So minus 145 degrees is equal to 35 degrees. So this angle here comes as 35 degrees. Also, 
this angle that means angle CMY will be equal to so angle CMY as we have already discussed will be equal to 90 degrees minus 35 degrees is equal to 55 degrees so this angle here is 55 degrees but angle CMY is equal to angle MYR so this angle is equal to this angle as these are alternate angles so this implies from here that angle MYR will be equal to angle CMY we have found to be 55 degrees so this is what we had to find in the question measure of angle MYR and that is 55 degrees let's summarize what we have learned after solving this question here we learned multiple approaches to solve problems by completing constructions we also learned how to choose suitable properties of relevant pairs of angles for solving the problem